Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at recolouring things in Illustrator that don't seem to be behaving correctly when you try and recolour them. I drew this piece of art earlier today for a specific project and when I went to recolour it something a bit weird happened and I wanted to show you how I solved the problem. Now I've made two additional copies of it so we can have the original just sitting here. Let me show you what I did. I selected over the object. I noticed over here that there is a mix of fill and strokes. That's what Illustrator is telling you when there are question marks here. Now I thought I'd probably expanded my objects. Turns out I didn't. Because when I double clicked here to change the fill and let's change it to something that we can really see clearly, this sort of magenta color, this is what happened. There were some elements left in this design that are black and some of the elements recolored to the pink, but some other elements that I didn't think were actually still filled shapes colored to the pink color. And so what I've got is something that is sort of halfway to what I want, but not all the way. And there is a much easier way of turning something like this into something where the pink is totally replacing the black. So here's the solution, just avoid the fill and stroke, select over your design, and then go up here to the recolor artwork dialog. I'll click on it once. The recolor artwork dialog is telling me that there is one color in this image and it's black. Now, typically when you come into the recolor artwork dialog with a piece of art like this selected, you may well see something like this where there's just a dash between the black bar here and the black bar here. That tells you that this is not recolorable, but if you click on it and turn it into an arrow, then it is recolorable. If you don't have a box here, you can just click there and then you'll be given the option to add a color. So basically what you're saying to the recolor artwork dialog is, I've got a color black here that's in use in the drawing. At the moment, you're going to map it onto black. So in effect, no change to my document, but I would like to make changes to it. And that's what that arrow is doing here. So now I could either double click here and go and select my color. So let's go and select that sort of pinky color. And that's immediately recolored the artwork. Now, let me just undo that. And the way I can undo it is clicking here on the get colors from selected art. That will just return it to what it used to look like. I've still got the arrow there, that's what I need. I can go to edit and in the middle here is a selector. Now sometimes you might get two selectors and sometimes you'll get one. Well, one's what I've got today. So I'm just moving this out and I'm going to start increasing the brightness here. And as I do, you'll see that the wheel here is taking on the color that I have selected and having increased the brightness so that the selector is now showing brighter colors, I can just walk this around and choose the color I want for the design. Once I'm happy with that, of course, making sure that recolor artwork checkbox here is selected because you do want to recolor your artwork, just click OK. And so now we've got our element recolored the way we wanted to, not the way that Illustrator was going to give us. And of course, you can see that immediately that you're likely to have problems when you select over a shape. If you have mixed fills and strokes, it's telling you that there is something going on here that is probably going to mean that you are not going to be able to recolor this the way that you think you can. But using the recolor artwork tool, then it's easy to just isolate all the black color in the illustration and automatically recolor it. Now, if you're interested in more of my Illustrator training, I have it at Skillshare.com. If you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer. And typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com and there is a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.